You guys uh, work in a radio station together at XFM. Now, yeah. listeners of our show would know XFM because just recently... Manchester XFM. Yeah, mm -hmm. had not stolen but repurposed a few of our segments, uh, recycled them, reused them, and the people of Australia... Oh, what you mean? You don't mean played them out, you mean redid the comedy? Maybe. Mm. Uh, yeah, I, don't know if I don't know if you've seen the film uh, Gone in 60 Seconds, <laughs> but pretty much what they did with those cars, uh, XFM oh, in Manchester dear. did with the segment. I mean, look, fair's fair, maybe they independently thought of the segment, but... They've also since admitted it. They've copped to it. <laughs> but I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was only yeah, yeah. That's, the gi that's the giveaway, isn't it? That's <laughs> yeah. the giveaway. Well, in the words, yeah, you got us. We're a bit of a giveaway. Are you about to tell us that you came up with an idea for a sitcom in an office? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. No, we just wanted the people of Australia, it is the people show this one, and um, they kind of felt like XFM needs to give us a segment back. You know, they owe us a segment. We wondered, were there any old ones or ones you never did on your radio show that you'd like to give us for one, we can just try it for once just to balance this uh, <laughs> trade deficit that we have uh, with xfm what was that quiz that carl had ricky oh rockbusters rockbusters wow well, uh, to be honest as fans of the podcast um we don't want rockbusters cheapest <laughs> 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 chimps that that didn't last very long oh what was oh, surely um knob news <laughs> You can have knob views. Unfortunately, we might have stolen that one. Andy had an operation on his downstairs area a couple of years ago, and we had tackle talk for quite some time. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> tackle talk, there you go. What, tackle we, talk, knob news. Can we yeah. go back to cheapest chimps? What was cheapest <laughs> chimps? We're, we're interested in purchasing or borrowing cheapest chimps. I think it was a one-off, wasn't it, when you found out you could uh, there, there was an illegal trade in uh, chimpanzees, and you could they were they were buying them for extortion amounts of money, and you called it cheapest chimps. It was really it was really a spin-off of monkey. News. Let's so, be honest. Sorry, so it was more of a primate price comparison <laughs> each week. It was l literally like yeah. a financial market going, this is what monkeys are selling for on the black market this week. Yeah, they're going right. What about, what about the rice is right? <laughs> the rice is right? <laughs> oh, what was that? That was, you, you were saying three dishes, three dishes, and whether they come with rice or not. <laughs> I forgot that, Deb. <laughs> I mean, could we take the rice as right and you throw in cheapest chips as a deal sweetener? <laughs> kind of like yeah. formats. Yeah, you can have the rice as right. <laughs> You'll notice most of these uh, segments are based on, a, on an amusing pun that Carl's come up with, but there's not actually any segments behind it. So, Carl, yeah, Carl exactly. could we, could we, we just have an example? Could you, would you guys mind playing out just uh, like a bit of an owner's manual, uh, playing out the rice as right, just uh, so we can get an idea of... I really can't... I think... What, what did you say? It was something like there was pilau rice, there was coconut rice, sticky rice, or something, and then you'd sort of say, "Carl, it was the worst idea ever. <laughs> we we didn't do it at the time because it was rubbish. What are you trying to salvage it for? It, it's in the bin, mate. It's go around the back of the takeaway, and it's in the bin. Even the cat isn't sniffing it. And the people who phoned in knew they were only going to win a copy of Ladder. What was it? Forty nine. 49 on VHS. So it yeah. really wasn't worth winning. What was Big Mother? Big Mother, what was that? And you have to say, oh yeah, you have to call in and tell us if your mum's heavy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's, um... Well, there's plenty for us to choose XFM from. <laughs> we, you know, you're not on XFM anymore, Carl, and, 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 and in we come, like vultures, to pick over the bones of the rice is right, yeah. cheap as chips and big mama. Uh, we'll take them all as a job lot. Fire <laughs> sale. <laughs> I'm afraid that's why XFM is stealing other people's ideas. Because <laughs> <laughs> we were the best. Why are XFM stealing ideas when there's these Picassos hanging on the wall? <laughs> Carl, we noticed that in the first uh, idiot problem, we had a look through the synopsis, and it doesn't look like Australia gets run. We don't have an ancient wonder of the world in Australia. A mere made one. Uh, Carl, have you have you been to Australia, Carl? No, it's, it's too it's too far away, isn't it? But you're in, but you're in Asia. Let me, just, let me just scratch out our question 22. Would you go to the moon? Uh, <laughs> all right. At least going far away on another planet seems worth it, but it seems like I'm going the distance to the moon to get to Australia, yet I'm still at home, if you know what I mean. You said rather go to the moon than Australia? One. No, I'm still on the Earth. Earth is my home, isn't it? Sort of. Didn't Australia used to be linked to 
Africa or something. Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, 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 many, yeah many hundreds millions of years ago, yeah. it was all a big blob, yeah. So that's when I would have visited it. Now it's like Earth's gone, you don't want to go there. Australia <laughs> was the country that the rest of the world cast off, <laughs> like a bit of dog poo on its shoe uh, after we decided we I'm didn't... So I'd like to apologise, I'm so sorry. <laughs> after Gondwana decided, oh, what's this doing on me? Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Carl, we've got some great things here. We've got some, they're not wonders of the world yeah. yet, but uh, not through one of trying. Mm. We have a lot of big things yeah, in Australia, yeah, yeah. Uh, sort of made as tourist attractions. Would you be interested to come out... Every time I see it on the telly, it's the Opera House. I'm not into Opera, I haven't been to Opera in London. Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to go all the way down there for it. Yeah, okay. And you've got a bridge. Okay, we'll, well strike we, a bridge, we'll strike the bridge. Opera, House. Opera House. Very good bridge, though. Uh, yeah. That's okay. Yeah. There's a thing called the Big Pineapple. Yeah. Giant parts in Queensland, which is a, quite a hot part of Australia. Mm. Massive. Uh, probably the size of a double-decker bus stood on its end. That's the height of it. Well, for me, that just goes to show how much land you've got and you don't know what to do with it. <laughs> <laughs> There's not a field of these, we should point out. It's not, it's not an actual pineapple either. It's not a breed of pineapple yet. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not feed the world. It's not, it's uh, not, pineapple to Africa <laughs> once a week. We're not hogging all the mammoth pineapples. It's a statue. It's a novelty. It's a nice fruit. Of all the fruit to see in a big way, yeah. It's. I, I mean, I, d I don't like them. I think it's dangerous to get into. I don't think we should be eating them. Okay. They're not made to get into. You've got to start getting tools out to have a bit. Okay, so, so same, same with a cow. So I guess I'll I'll cross <laughs> off uh, the big banana in Coffs Harbour as well. Would you be, <laughs> do you want to see a big banana, yeah. Carl? That seems a bit better. But hold on, though, Carl. Don't you reckon seven bananas is fatal? That's why you should never have seven bananas. There's a bit of truth in it. It's something to do with potassium levels. If you eat seven in a row, it can do serious damage. But saying that, pineapple, I've heard if you stick a load of that in a bath and get in it, it can kill you over a week. <laughs> <laughs> it's something seriously. Do it. If you're all laughing, Google it. Would you be getting in a bath of pineapples for a week? Uh, I suppose it depends uh, how fast you get in. I mean, you, if you got in very fast, you could do some damage. <laughs> okay, that. Oh God. So if you if you've got someone that you're you're you know you've got nefarious business dealings with, and they say to you, "Hey, look, before we do the deal, come into the bathroom, <laughs> get your kid off a yeah. uh, bath full of pineapples, yeah, and run." Yeah. <laughs> I just can't wait for the next, the next... He sleeps with the fruit. <laughs> the next Guy Ritchie film. Forget the pigs. Yeah. It's just... Uh, yeah. you know, yeah. have a body. Just go to Australia, get a big pineapple and uh, drape someone on it. <laughs> okay, Carl. So, I think, I, I think we'll have to send Carl to Australia because this is a challenge. I think he'll love it. I think, I think he will. he'll love it. Oh, what worries me is the, the distance. It's not just me having to sit there. It's a pilot on a plane sat there doing that long journey. If you drive a truck, you're only allowed to do about six hours in a day. Yep. Yeah, mm. a pilot who's got about 500 people in his vehicle, he's allowed to do that distance. It doesn't make sense to me. Yeah, it's terrifying. We've done yeah. the trip from London to Sydney and, and you're at quite often the bar will come on, he's asleep, he stumbles out of the <laughs> cabin, he's half-dressed, he starts yelling at people to give him coffee and speed and it can be quite scary. <laughs> uh, Carl, tell him what the pilot said to you when... Uh when you went to uh, Alaska for Idiot Abroad. The main man came over at the end of the flight and he said, uh, Mr. Pilkington, thanks for flying with us and can I just say, you haven't got a head like a f***ing orange. <laughs> <laughs> Carl does have a very spherical head, Ham. It is the object of uh, much amusement on the Richard Face podcast. Uh, thank you very much.